And especially with the multiple choice, I want you to do one thing, uh, which I think I did with your thermodynamics. So I guess uh, I'm, it's a continuation of the same thing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is it is cheating. It is considered cheating and it is cheating. So you can't do it. You shouldn't do it. Um, the only way, the one circumstance that I can think of where using a generative AI like this won't be cheating in a context where somehow using it with multiple choice timed assessment is if you are using it to help you figure out which questions you got wrong. So, you know, while you are doing the assessment, don't use any outside tool, whether that's a generative AI or a friend or whatever. Uh, don't use any, out, no outside help. That role is still there. Uh, but, you know, after you are done, uh, if uh, uh, an outside tool helps you figure out what you got wrong, so help you prepare for the other attempt, then great. I, I think that would be fine. So for the purpose of this, in the interest of, I don't know, saving time, let me cheat and um, and then uh, use that as a starting point. So I'll start. I have 10 minutes. And, um, and I've done this. Oh, wait. I don't know how this... Let me skip this. That's going to be difficult to copy and paste. I do think there might be a way to do it. Because all those figures should have... Uh, uh, should have... Uh, 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 word description. So it should be possible, but since it'll take some time, let me just skip it for now and come back to it at the end when I know I'll have a little time. V squared over R um, C D, uh, K is equal to one half K X squared. Okay. Uh, and while it's doing that, let me copy the next question. Uh, okay, see. Um, so for the purpose of this, I don't want to call it demonstration because this is not something you should be doing. Um, for the purpose of this portion of the exercise, uh, I'm not reading anything. I'm kind of doing the thing that a cheater would be doing. Again, don't do what I'm doing. Um, uh, and then if there's time at the end, I'll come back and try to make some sense of the um, um, anything that ChatGPT might have missed. Um, so while it's answering that, oh wait, B. oh wow, it's starting with the answers again. Uh, when I was doing this demo, uh, doing this exercise elsewhere, it was a... Uh, um, giving long response before giving me the answers. That's why I started doing what I was doing now, what I'm doing now, but spherical surfaces S1, S2, and S3 as shown in figure below, S1 And I think a figure description might just say, yeah, yeah. Setup is, was already described in the text. Okay. Surface uh, S1, S2, S3, I might, 10 minutes might be barely enough. Uh, I'm a little running behind a little bit on time, so we'll see. Um, ah, it's doing that again. Oh, <laughs> it's having a long explanation before giving me the answer. Uh, S3 is the, let's see, okay. Uh, I, I, I wasn't really thinking about the question, so I don't know if that's correct or not. Okay, that looks good. Uh, a, B, C, D. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. <laughs> okay, B. It's still generating a response that I'm not bothering reading because I have some time I need to make up. Uh, all right, that seems copied correctly. And 
So some of the questions are from physics 10. Those will be easier. <laughs> the questions that are not from physics 10 tends to be a little longer and harder. Um, okay. B. And uh, I do know it's a, a lot of the questions written by me tends to be long. I do try to shorten it. Um, I'm not always successful. Um, okay, let me ask you that. Start copying the next question. Um, okay, option C. Um, yeah, that sounds about right, probably. <laughs> Uh, I'm by I'm not I'm only half paying attention to the physics content of this multiple choice assessment. Uh, okay, that looks copied right. Which is you know one of the reasons if you are uh, cheating with a tool like this, it will actually really hurt to your learning because you are spending way more effort in cheating than uh, let me expand this so they don't copy. Um, then learning the things that you are supposed to and you know i guess uh, in some sense the like copying stuff that's a, a transferable skill of a kind but um um point okay surrounds so point c uh, point um a the point b okay additional containing C containing A and B but those uh, transferable skills um, it, it transfers into data entry kind of jobs you know those are not the high paying jobs like engineering is so it's not the right kind of skill you want to be learning from this class there is a Okay, all right. I might have been quicker just typing this up. Um, point C, A, and B. One thing that I might do in the future to discourage um, <laughs> this kind of copying work, uh, maybe I will intentionally put in this kind of mathematical expressions which don't copy easily. So um, that might actually... And there's a... Um, setting for assessment that makes it harder to copy i didn't i don't think i turned it on for this assessment after it's done i can go in and check and turning that on actually might uh, help hinder um you know what i'm doing now uh, force people to type it out instead of uh, being able to copy and paste uh, so let me do this okay so that's question that's i definitely gonna have enough time to finish copying this and i might have enough time to go back to first two question and uh, you know, fix uh, how that copies. Oh, wait. Yeah, that, that. Um, diagram shows oops, which has charges plus minus Q. Compliance there. The plates. Um, yeah, all right. So everything else stayed uh, being equal. Voltage difference between plate A and B is inversely first distance D. A, A is higher. Electric field E is inversely proportional to distance D between the plates. A labeled B is higher. A, um, electric field E is in area A of the plate. Okay. Um, Oh, do I have enough time? Um, I think I got maybe one minute remaining. Uh, while it's doing that, yeah, I got one and a, I think there might be enough time, uh, depending on how much of my time ChatGPT <laughs> wastes to writing all this that I'm not reading. Uh, therefore, well, uh, did it not answer? Oh, oh okay, E, okay. Uh, yeah. uh, reading challenged. Okay, uh, we are back to uh, question one. And, okay, minute. 
maybe okay let me try this if I just select everything and paste I think it'll paste in the um, the the descriptive text for the images yeah yeah okay okay oh, I could have done this right at the beginning I think I just uh, panicked and didn't realize it would have pasted correctly like this in fact it actually pasted better than <laughs> some of the mathematical expressions I've been now, I don't think, uh, yeah, so I'll have to do outside the time limit, um, which of the questions it got right, which of the questions it missed. Uh, I guess with uh, less than 30 seconds, I won't be able to, um, so let's see, A, B, C, I won't be able to actually go through any of them. Um, I can probably see the first one, uh, electric field lines or dipole. Um, oh, it got it right, yeah. C is the correct uh, for electric field lines of dipole. Um, two inverse square law that describes a force whose magnitude increasing distance at double the, yeah, that's the inverse square. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, let me do the rest uh, <laughs> outside of the time limit. Uh, so, okay, missed the three. All right, so um, I'm gonna just uh, keep track of uh, which questions it got right, which questions it missed as I go through each question. Um, so we'll do review work. And all I know is uh, uh, ChatGPT missed the three questions, uh, which could be any of these. And at this point, it doesn't tell you which ones are right because of the setting that this is at. So let me just uh, uh, set up the things for my tally here. Um, so correct, incorrect, and I know it must have missed the three uh, to get 70% correct. So uh, the first one, I already went through it. Um, so, you know, dipole field, these are the kind of the shapes you are looking for, and it needs to be consistent with the uh, um, electric field lines coming out of a positive charge and into a negative charge. So this is, picture is actually just wrong because <laughs> uh, these are not even following the electric field line drawing rules. This one uh, looks like it could be coming out of this positive charge going into this negative charge. Um, so the second one, uh, I said this is correct as well. So let me mark those two to correct so far. Um, and yeah, the uh, double the distance, yeah. So I'll see. I'll check the one uh, that the chat GPT answered the first, and then um, if it's right, then I'll move on in the interest of time. I won't just redo the whole thing. Choose a statement below which correctly describes an expected feature of correctly drawn field lines. The field lines, yeah, they never must cross each other because uh, if they cross, it's a kind of mathematical impossibility. At a given point, the net electric field can point in one only one direction. Uh, so place where they cross uh, uh, is a net electric field pointing in two different directions. That's a mathematical impossibility. Okay, conducting sphere, right, right. So um, here you have to think through the properties of conductor. Um, inside here, you should have electric fields. Surface S2, zero electric field, so zero electric flux. Surface S3, um, um, so the, it, it's enclosing this net charge, so there must be some net flux from Gauss's law. So, um, inside, what's the question? Um, let me read it carefully. Okay, oh, so the sphere also has a net charge, plus Q2 on it, inside that charge, right? Consider the surfaces. Which of the three surfaces has the most positive net electric flux? Okay. Um, so S1 will have negative uh, flux due to enclosing negative charge. <laughs> and S3 will actually have negative flux as well due to on net plus Q2 minus Q on net enclosing the negative charge. So really the most positive net flux is actually flux of zero on S2 because it'll have zero flux, that's the most positive flux. So that must be the one that question that ChatGPT missed. And yeah, I can imagine a lot of people missing this. It's a, one of those uh, questions, if someone described this, that's a more of a reading test than a physics test. I say, that's fair. Yeah, I need to, 
Um, I don't know. I, when I was programming the questions, I did program in the question because I did kind of like what I was testing, but it is a bit convoluted, um, especially when you have only one minute per question. It is hard to get right. <laughs> so yeah, that's not one of my best questions. Uh, okay, consider the picture below. Flux through a spherical surface or so dotted line uh, has been calculated. Charge is about to be placed in the center of the conducting shell. Most correctly state the change in flux through the spherical surface. Um, the charge of placing, if it's positive, then the flux should increase or you know increase in the positive direction. Charge negative charge. Okay, that's wrong. Oh, wait, wait. Let me first first start with the the choice that GPT answered. Um, if a positive marked location, the negative surface charge. The, yeah, that's wrong. Because uh, uh, so although this part is right, but uh, the the conductor will, you know, the amount of charge only one change. So whatever charge gets induced on the inner surface, the opposite of that gets induced on the outer surface. So uh, it doesn't change how much net charge is within the uh, sphere. So. So that's wrong. So that's one of the incorrect answers it got. Uh, we must not really, um, not a long time, maybe enough time for propagation of that at the speed of light. Uh, if a negative charge is fully so the spherical surface will become negative. Um, it's not uh, as precise as. Um, Oh, neutral conducting shell. Okay, okay. So before it was actually zero. The flux through the spherical surface must be zero. So yeah, if a negative charge is placed here, it, that will become negative. So the fourth choice, that is the correct choice. And this is one of the um, questions that GPT got wrong. Uh, okay, it must have gotten one more question wrong. We'll go find that and just to, uh, go through the rest uh, relatively quickly. Okay, Gauss's law is the first of the four fundamental equations that I'll describe, uh, which is, okay, can be used to find the, yeah, very few highly symmetric charges in this field cannot be used, yeah. But it's always correct. So in terms of whether it's correct or not, it'll always be correct. It, um, the thing about the symmetry being necessary is whether it's useful in finding electric field. Um, now the differential form might be more useful in uh, outside of that. Like if you are programming in um, like uh, what's called a finite element analysis, uh, one of those numerical software that allows you to calculate electric field distribution of um, different geometries. Uh, I think those uh, physics engines on those have a differential version of Gauss's law built into that. Um, which are the following? I think I saw this while we were doing it. And yeah, electric potential energy is most cl closely related to electric potential by uh, scalar multiplication. Electric field is related through the confusing um, the scalar product or inner product or dot product. Uh, but scalar multiplication, multiplication by a scalar uh, that would be uh, potential energy through you know electric potential times a charge gives you a potential energy. So that's correct. Okay, let's, out of remaining three, missed the one. Um, and experiment the apparatus set up with a voltage difference. So negative charge, the electrode, where it has more higher potential energy. So positive, how much kinetic enters there? It's a surprisingly easy, yeah. So 50 kilovolts, so the from above, uh, the, the, Charge times the the electric potential gives you the electric potential energy, and um, given this amount of voltage, uh, amount of charge uh, the electron has, you could say, well, that's one electron. Then the potential energy is the voltage, fifty kilovolt times electron. So the potential energy is fifty kilo electron volt, and that's the you know the electron volt unit. So in electron volt units, you get this really simple answer, which is correct. Um, now, if uh, the question is asking you about the energy in joules or whatever, then you have to do some complicated unit conversion. Um, the electron volt units were actually invented so that um, the energy calculation is simpler with uh, uh, objects that have charges in units of elementary charge. Okay, uh, it probably missed this. I would be really impressed if uh, GPT got this right. Um, 
So, <laughs> for voltages, you can put it by charges and choose the statement below, which most correctly, okay. So, and just, okay, do, am I going to have to just sc uh, scroll back and forth? Uh, let me see if I can open this in a new tab so that, you know, I don't have to keep scrolling back and forth. It's so annoying and disorienting. Um, all right. So looking at that, uh, is there a negative charge? Oh, wow, it got it right. So there is a negative charge there and positive charges at A and B. Yeah, that is correct. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess uh, the description must be enough to work off of. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's right. Uh, okay, the last one. Diagram shows parallel plate. Choose the most correct statement below. Okay. Um, electric independent of area of the plate. Oh, uh, yeah, you missed that. Because it gave you the amount of charges. So greater um, area means uh, lower uh, surface charge density, so lower electric field. So, um, so the electric field is not independent of area because uh, the surface charge density depends on the area. So the correct one should be okay. Voltage difference between plates A and B is inversely proportional to distance D. No, that's not right. Because uh, um, the electric field won't change with the distance because infinite parallel plates. So uh, longer distance means greater voltage because um, electric field times distance. So that's wrong. The voltage of the plate labeled A on the right is, no, that's lower. It's the negatively charged plate. Uh, everything else being equal, the electric field is inversely proportional to the distance D between the plates. That's not right because um, it stated a charge. And if you are keeping the area constant, then um, the electric field depends only on those. So it's not inversely proportional to the distance. Voltage of the plate labeled B is higher. Yes, that's the correct answer. The fourth choice, that's the correct answer. Um, yeah, so that's the last question that GPT got incorrectly. Um, and lim let me leave that here. I, I think with the thermodynamics, I um, went through that um, the second time to prove how I'm better than ChatGPT. But uh, I, we have about 20 minutes remaining, and I do like to use that time to demonstrate the, the freeform timed assessment. So let me do that instead of getting into a pissing contest with the generative AI. Um, um, yeah. yeah I, uh, I have other demos of me doing multiple choice in other sessions, so you can look at that if uh, you want to see me do um, see me do the demo of a multiple choice timed assessment without reliance on generative AI.